In this video I'm sharing 10 awesome DIY makeup life hacks that you've never seen before but you absolutely need in your life. I hope you're ready to step up your makeup game because today I'll be showing you 10 amazing makeup life hacks and DIYs that will change your life forever. Big thanks to Epidemic Sound for making this video possible and make sure to stick till the end to discover how I edit my videos and where I get the perfect music. Okay, it's time for a major glow up, so let's get started! Wow! No, no! Achoo! We all know how much I love glitter, but I hate how messy it is. Whenever I use it, it just flies everywhere and even days later I end up finding it all over the apartment. Ugh, so annoying. Luckily, I learned how to press my glitters, which makes them so easy to use and not messy at all. First, you have to choose a glitter that you want to press. I'm going for this beautiful dark blue. Besides glitter, you will also need a bit of rubbing alcohol, glycerin and aloe vera gel. Take the glitter, pour it in an eyeshadow tin or pot and distribute it evenly. Suck some alcohol into a syringe and squeeze it in the glitter pot. You should have enough alcohol to cover the entire container. And don't worry if you put in too much because alcohol will evaporate eventually. Next you want to add 5 to 6 drops of glycerin. I'm using a dropper to do that but syringe or a simple spoon should do the trick. Lastly we need to add a bit of aloe vera gel and mix it well to distribute evenly around the container. Leave the alcohol to evaporate completely which can take up to a day. Once the product is all dry you're left with the amazing pressed glitter which is so much more practical and easy to apply than the usual usual loose version. You can use your pressed glitters exactly like eyeshadows, they are not messy at all but smooth to apply and great for travel. I also made one in yellow and I seriously wanna press all the other glitters that I own. They are so convenient! Nothing is better than a cool glitter eye makeup and now I can make it way more often because I know I won't have to deal with all the glitter mess afterwards. How amazing are these glitter eyes, right? There are so many other color combos I wanna try so I better start pressing more of my glitters right away. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> Epic fail at the hairdressers. We've probably all been there before, right? If you want to give your hair some funky color transformation but aren't sure how it will look on you, a great idea is to dye it temporarily first. And guess what? To do that, you can use your regular eyeshadows. I know it's hard to believe that you can dye your hair with eyeshadows, but trust me, they work like a dream. Grab an eyeshadow of your choice. I went for blue because, you know, it's my favorite color. Take a hair strand, press the eyeshadow against it like this and start moving down towards the hair tips. Look at this color payoff! Isn't it completely mind-blowing? Let's try it with purple as well. Grab a strand and press the purple shadow towards it. Pull the eyeshadow down and check this out. Wash-off hairsprays are super expensive and hair chalk is quite hard to find. But we all have eyeshadows at home already and they're so affordable. This life hack is perfect for parties, festivals, carnivals, Halloween or just every day. When you wash your hair, the color will get right off. It's great if you want to switch up the color of your hair but are not sure which shade will look the best on you. And no worries, this totally works on darker hair too. Just Make sure to use very pigmented eyeshadows. Go grab some eyeshadows and let the fun begin! Glitter lips have been a huge trend lately. I saw them on the runways, in music videos and all over the internet. Creating a beautiful sparkly lip by patting the glitter on can be quite time consuming, so instead let's make some gorgeous glitter lipsticks. Make a double boiler by pouring some water into a pan. Then place in smaller heat proof pots. I'm making 3 different lipsticks, so 3 pots for me. Now grab some coconut oil and put about half a teaspoon in each of the pots. Since coconut oil is very soft, we also need to add 2 to 3 pieces of beeswax in each of the containers. This is how we make a lipstick from scratch. However, if you don't have coconut oil or beeswax, feel free to simply melt a plain lip balm. It will work just as great. Alright, it's time to add that beautiful sparkly gorgeousness, aka glitter. I'm gonna make green, pink and silver glitter lipsticks. Pour a generous amount of glitter into each of the bowls and stir the mixture so that all the ingredients incorporate evenly. 
How stunning do these look already? Absolutely magical! All we gotta do now is pour these glitter liquids in some lipstick containers or lip balm pots and leave them to cool down completely. This shouldn't take long at all, about 3 to 5 minutes. But if you wanna speed up the cooling process, pop your lipsticks in the fridge and you're ready to use them in no time. Check out how gorgeous they are, I honestly love them so much. The pink one turned out to be super wearable, while the silver lipstick makes your lips look like an epic disco ball. Pretty cool for a party or some special festivities. The key to achieving those gorgeous opaque glitter lips is to use a lot of glitter in your lipsticks. I also made some multicolored lipsticks where I alternated between all the three colors while pouring in the mixtures. It's very important that you're using non-toxic glitter or even better, edible glitter. All in all, these glitter lipsticks were so easy and affordable to make, yet they turned out fantastic. Fantastic. Love them! You can even pour the mixtures in a lip balm pot and get a gorgeous glittery lipstick wheel. How cool, right? Looks familiar? Right when you are in a desperate need of an eyeliner, you run out of it. Well, don't stress out, girl, because I got your back. Instead of liquid eyeliners, you can use liquid lipsticks. The best part is that they come in a ton of fun shades, so I decided to try out a multicolored eyeliner look starting with a hot pink. Take an eyeliner brush, load it with some product, and you can draw your cat line as usual. I applied it on the outer part of my eye. Liquid lipsticks are long-lasting, don't smudge and they're easy to apply which makes them perfect to use as eyeliners. If you want to make a classic black cat eye, you can simply dip your brush in a mascara. But if you want to create a funky colored line, then liquid lipsticks are absolutely amazing. I mean, look at these epic colors! Besides hot pink, I also use blue, purple and light pink. I love how they look together. Who would have thought, right? Experimenting with makeup is seriously the best thing ever. You can stick with one lipstick shade and make a solid bright colored eyeliner look which is very wearable but still looks very cool. Or you can go all out making a multicolored bright liner. This one is perfect for a night out with friends, festival, birthday celebrations or other fun events. And of course there's no limit in makeup, you can wear whatever you like and whenever you like. Rock this cool eyeliner tidying up your house or gardening, because who says you can't? Why wear a plain lipstick when you can rock these epic polka dot lips? They're super simple to make and they look amazing. Grab any lipstick of your choice and apply it on the lips as usual. I went for classic red but literally any color will work. To make the white dots, I'm gonna use a white liquid eyeliner. Take a bobby pin and dip its tip in the liquid eyeliner. Now you can easily make the perfect white dots all over your lips. Bobby pin works like a stamp. What a great trick, right? If you don't have a white liquid eyeliner, you can just use a black one or even the usual pencil liners. Just have fun experimenting and see what works best. I like the liquid eyeliners because they're very opaque and make the dots really vibrant. These polka dot lips look so retro and pinup inspired to me. No lipstick could ever make your lips so extra and cool. This simple lip art is perfect for a party, carnival or Halloween. But you can have so much fun trying different makeup looks every day. I mean, who doesn't like plain dress up all year around, right? Story, me trying to pack too many things into a suitcase. It happens every single time. Luckily, there's a great traveling hack that will make our life so much easier. You can turn straws into cute little packages that will store all your skincare and beauty necessities. To make this, grab a straw, I went for a pink one and cut it in half. Take a bobby pin and slide it on a straw, leaving a bit of space between the straw end and the pin. Next, light a candle. Bring the straw close to the candle flame and move it slowly back and forth to melt the straw edge. The heat melts the plastic and seals the opening together, making our straw package completely waterproof. It's time to grab lotions, moisturizers, shampoos, etc. and fill up the little containers. Now we have to repeat the sealing technique on the other side as well. Melt the opening using a candle and your waterproof pockets are ready to travel the world with you. A good idea is also to write what's inside on the package so you don't mess up and end up washing your teeth with a moisturizer or something like that. This is seriously a genius 
traveling hack. Especially when you're going away for just a few days and you don't want to bring all the bulky beauty and skincare products with you. An old man once told me at the airport if he could go back in time, the only thing he would change in his life is to travel more and travel lighter. And this life hack makes it possible to travel light even for us girls that need a bunch of beauty products to survive every day. Look, my mom got me a new lip gloss. Oh, it's so pretty. I know, I'm so happy. My mom got me a lip gloss too. Really? Oh, yeah, it's transparent. But don't worry, we can fix it. Really? That's right, you can always pimp up your transparent or poorly pigmented glosses. I'm gonna transform mine into a gorgeous sparkly lip magic. All you need is non-toxic glitter of your choice and a clear lip gloss. To make the mixing part easier, you can DIY a little paper funnel and place it in the gloss opening. It's time to have fun choosing the glitter color. This always takes ages because they are all so pretty. In the end, I decided to go for this amazing silver that changes colors depending on how the light hits it. You can see everything from pink, purple, green and blue reflections. So gorgeous! Alright, let's pour the glitter in the lip gloss container. Put a little plastic lid in the opening and your glitter lip gloss is all done. You may need to shake it a bit so that the glitter distributes evenly throughout the container and this is how the finished product looks like. You can wear it on its own or you can apply it over a lipstick of any color. Since this gloss is transparent, it won't affect the color of the lipstick, it will just add a beautiful shine and sparkle to the lips. Let's make another glitter lip gloss which besides giving sparkles to the lips also adds color. Grab a transparent lip gloss, some glitter and an old eyeshadow. This time I decided to make a pinky glitter gloss so I chose pink glitter. <laughs> you guys made fun of me in the comments of last video saying that I have an obsession with glitter and galaxy and you're right. I do have a problem, it's serious. Just as we did before, we have to pour our glitter into the tube. To give our gloss a nice pink pigmentation, we need an old pink eyeshadow or loose pigment. Scrape some of the eyeshadow on a piece of paper and the more shadow you use, the more pigmented your lip gloss will be. That's enough for me, so let's pour it into our lip gloss container. If your shadow gets stuck in the funnel like mine, a toothpick comes in very handy. There we go, place on the little cap, mix the ingredients together and you're ready to use your new lip gloss. Besides the beautiful sparkly glitter and shine, this one will also give your lips a pretty rosy color. I'm in love with both of these lip glosses and not gonna lie, I literally wanna make one using every single glitter color that I own. Here you can see the swatches. Our pink glitter gloss gives sparkle and rosy color, while the silver one gives just the sparkle. This makes it perfect for layering on top of any kind of lipsticks. With this lip gloss, you will in a way double your lipstick collection. Because for every lipstick color that you own, you will now have a sparkly stardust version as well. How brilliant is that? Hey mom! Hi honey! How was school? School was great. Um, I got something to tell you. I know you may not agree, but I'm old enough and I wanted this for years, so... Sweetie, you're scaring me. You know you can tell me everything. Well, I got a tattoo. <laughs> <gasps> if you want to get a tattoo but your mom doesn't let you or you're afraid to commit to it for the rest of your life, a great idea is to try a temporary tattoo first. I'll show you how you can DIY your own metallic flash tattoo. Take a pencil eyeliner. You can use a black one, colored or metallic one like I did. First you need to draw your design on the skin. I decided to make a henna inspired tattoo on my hand. I started making some silver dots along my middle finger and up my hand. Then I took a golden bronze eyeliner and draw a V-shape and so on. You can be really creative and make so many different designs. And the best part is that if you mess it up, simply erase your errors with a makeup remover. I also drew some triangles, dots and lines to finish up my tattoo. When you're happy with the design, take a hairspray and spray it all over your tattoo. The hairspray will make it way more long lasting and will prevent smudging. How cool is that? Such metallic tattoos have been so popular lately and I think they look stunning, especially in the summer with a bit of a tan. If you're attending any music festivals this year, they're definitely a must-have accessory. You can also make your own tattoos using liquid eyeliners, which will make them even more vibrant and long lasting. All in all, I think this DIY is a bomb and I'm obsessed with it. Mom, did you buy me a lip balm and mascara? Of course I did, sweetie. Here. Thanks, Mom. What? I said a tinted lip balm. Everybody in school has them. Tinted lip balm is the same as lipstick. You're not allowed to wear it. And what is this? A transparent mascara? Is this a joke? You're too young for makeup. I told you many times. Now do your homework. I hate everything. <sighs> Oh. <laughs>
Your mom doesn't let you wear makeup either? Guess what? I'll show you three different ways to turn a plain and boring transparent lip balm into a beautiful tinted one. The three easiest ways to give color to a lip balm is by using lipstick shavings, food coloring and eyeshadow pigment. Make a double boiler by pouring water into a pan and placing in some smaller heatproof bowls. Grab a plain lip balm and pull it out of its container. Pop the lip balm into a double boiler. I have three containers as I'll show you three different versions. Here I'm taking a piece of my mom's lipstick hoping that she will never notice and popping it into one of the melting pots. In the next container I'm adding a bit of eyeshadow pigment. In the last bowl I'm pouring some food coloring in a dust form because it mixes with oils better than liquid or gel food coloring. Leave the tinted lip balm mixtures to melt completely. You'll notice how the lipstick, pigment and food coloring will start giving a beautiful tint to our lip balm. Give all the three a quick little stir to distribute the color evenly and now you can take them off the heat. Pour the mixtures into a lipstick tube or lip balm pot and leave them to cool down completely. I love how they turned out! Think about how many different colors of tinted lip balms you can make. There's a huge variety of food colorings and you can get eyeshadow pigments in pretty much any possible color too. So you can really have a ton of fun creating different tinted lip balms. They will make your lips soft and pretty because they contain all the nourishing benefits of a lip balm. And since a bit of color never hurt nobody, they will also give your lips a bit of that pretty rosy, red or violet sheen. I always gotta have a lip balm with me wherever I go and if it also makes my lips pretty and colored, even better. Our tinted lip balms look amazing, but it's time to fix the clear mascara as well. To do that, I'm gonna be using, you guessed it, glitter. Open up your transparent mascara and remove the little plastic cap. Grab a paper funnel and place it in the opening. Choose your favorite glitter. You can go for one solid color or you can totally experiment and mix different glitter shades for fun, sparkly, colorful explosion. In the end, I decided to keep it classic and went for silver glitter. You guys know the drill, simply pour the glitter in the tube. The more glitter you use, more sparkly your lashes will be. Remove the Panel and place the plastic cap back on. Grab your mascara wand and you're ready to use this gorgeous sparkly mascara. I was quite skeptical when making this DIY because I didn't really know how the mascara will turn out and how the product will apply on the lashes. But OMG this DIY is one of my favorites because the mascara applies so lovely on the lashes and gives the most beautiful sparkle to the eyes. I was actually surprised how wearable this turned out. For me this is perfect for any party, a festival and honestly also every day. It really does not look over the top at all and the glitters aren't super visible. They just give those pretty reflective sparkles when they catch the light. I love clear mascaras as you can literally make anything out of them. They're like a blank canvas and allow you to have so much fun creating something new and epic. If you want to make a black mascara, simply mix in a bit of black eyeshadow. For colored mascaras, use colorful eyeshadows or pigments. Sky is the limit. I love my silver glitter mascara and I will wear it loads for sure. There are no rules in makeup. Mix it, match it and most of all have a lot of fun with it. Liquid lipsticks as eyeliners, glitter mascaras, eyeshadows as hair dye. Who says you can't do it? Break out of the established patterns and look at things in a different way. There's a whole new world waiting for you on the other side of the ordinary. I hope you liked the video and will try these ideas out. Let me know in the comments which hack you think is the coolest. I must say the eyeshadow hair dye hack totally blew me away. It works great, so easy and inexpensive, I love it. You guys ask me a lot how I edit my videos and today I decided to cover music. So where to get music for your videos? First option, make music yourself. No. Second option is YouTube library, which is nice but quite limited. Third option is to contact music artists directly. Therefore, one of my favorite music sources is Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is a music library with over 30,000 high quality tracks. Once you're subscribed to their services, you get unlimited access to use their music in your videos and monetize them without fear of getting copyrighted. I really love how easy it is to find the perfect music for my videos through the search bar or by browsing different genres. You can find anything from electronic, rock, comedy, classical music. You guys know that I love to include comedy sketches in my videos, so that's absolutely perfect for me. Also, the prices are really affordable, starting from $15 depending on the size of your channel, and they even offer a 30-day free trial to all new users. Yes. Epidemic Sound has made editing videos way easier, so if you're a YouTuber looking for some great music, I definitely recommend you to check out their website, which is linked in the description bar. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Makeup becomes so much fun when you start thinking outside the box. Always remember that you set your own limits and the moment you decide that limits do not exist, you will set free and fly.